All right, so now we're gonna have a look at an exam style question on confidence intervals. So I'll read through the question here. So a drug company says that their medicine helps 90% of their patients. A group of doctors wanted to test their claim. They bought the medicine for 150 of their patients and 120 felt better after using the medicine. Should the doctors accept the claim? Okay, so for confidence interval tests, we're looking for P, P hat, and then our margin of error. So it's about telling which one of these is P, P hat, and our margin of error. So in this case, the doctors are, the drug company is saying that P is equal to uh, 0.9 or 0 0.9. Sorry, I'll just go back there. So 0 0.9. And our sample proportion, so remember the sample here is 150 people. Our P hat is equal to 120 divided by 150, which is equal to 0 0.8. So the sample proportion says that it only helps 0.8% of people, but we can't just take the sample proportion uh, on its own. We have to add in the margin of error because it could be a little bit wrong because of the amount of people we took. So with the margin of error, if it still doesn't say 0.9, then we'll reject the claim. And if it does say 0.9 with the margin of error, we'll accept the claim. So I'll explain what that means kind of now in a second. So that's our, our P hat, which is kind of the most important thing. Um, and now we can easily find our margin of error. So I'm going to say the margin of error E is equal to 1.96 multiplied by P hat 1 minus P hat divided by M. So we saw that formula in the, um, in the last video, 1.96 times 0 0.8, 1 minus 0 0.8, all divided by 150, which is a sample size. If we pop that into our calculator, we'll find that the answer is 0 0.064. So that's our margin of error. So now we'll construct our confidence interval. So I'll just give the formula in white first. So P should be between P hat plus E, and it should be and between P hat minus E. So if we stick our numbers in P hat and our E here, we're gonna get 0 0.8 minus 0 0.064 and 0 0.8 plus 0 0.064. So we'll finish it off in green. We can say with 95% certainty, 95% that and the population lies between 0 0.736 and, and P and 0 0.864. So we're 95% certain that the drug helps this many people. So that means we'd probably reject the claim of the drug company that it helps 90% of their patients. So that's the thing about statistics. You can never really be 100, 100% right, um, or like certain. So remember only 95% certain. So there still could be a chance the drug company um, are telling the truth. They might not be telling a lie. They just might think otherwise but we're not going to accept it because we're 95% certain it's between here and we're gonna trust our kind of statistical test. So just at the bottom, we're gonna say reject drug company's claim. Drug company's claim, okay? Um, yeah, so obviously the medicine is still good for you if it helps between 73% and 86% of people, uh, but it just doesn't help the amount that they claim. So that's all we were testing. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna look at a hypothesis testing, um, which looks at basically doing the exact same thing here, except doing a really formal definition. So that's what, say, statisticians are gonna have to do, or people, if, if you were doing a real test on this in, say, real life, and not just for an exam question, you'd probably have to use a hypothesis test. So we'll go through that in the next video, uh, and you'll see how it's done. It's the same, the same maths, really. It's just a little bit of a more formal method that you have to write some sentences out. So, yeah, that's it for confidence intervals. You should know pretty much everything there is to know about them now. Uh, actually, there's one more, one more video we're going to do on them where you'll learn a little bit more. But if you like the video, then like, subscribe to the channel, and share the videos with friends. And we'll see you next time for some hypothesis testing.